Start by shutting off the gas and water supply to the water heater. Remove the cover concealing the burner door and sight glass. Disconnect the gas line at the control valve using two wrenches to back up the piping. This water heater has rigid piping, but yours may have a flex connector. Disconnect the thermal pile wiring by gently rocking the wiring harness back and forth. Unplug the igniter wire and disconnect the main burner supply and pilot tube. Carefully bend the pilot tube out of the way as it is very easy to kink. Prepare the replacement gas control by applying Teflon tape to the threads in a clockwise direction. I'm going to demonstrate changing the valve without draining the complete tank by creating an airlock. For this method to work properly, it is very important that no water is used in the residence until the valve is replaced. Opening a faucet or flushing a toilet will allow air back into the system and cancel out the airlock. Using a pail or a garden hose directed to the floor drain, open the drain valve until the water starts to slow down. If the water doesn't slow down, do not use this method to change the valve and instead continue to drain the tank completely. Thread a half inch by four to six inch in length nipple into the control valve. Spin counterclockwise to loosen. Once it feels fairly loose, you can prepare for the swap. Cover the pilot tube and burner supply with a towel Close the drain valve and quickly swap the gas controls. With the tank on an airlock, only a minimal amount of water should leak out. It is important to note that the safest and manufacturer's recommended method for replacing the control valve is draining the complete tank. Using the threaded nipple, tighten and level the gas control. Careful not to over tighten. Before reconnecting the gas, turn the water back on by slightly opening the cold water supply and purging the air from the tank by opening a hot faucet. Once the tank is full and the air is purged, the cold water supply can be opened fully and you can check for water leaks. Reconnect the gas line to the control valve. If there's a buildup of Teflon tape on the threads, remove with a wire or fitting brush. Reapply gas approved Teflon tape or sealant to the threads and tighten all connections with two wrenches to eliminate strain on the gas control and piping. The pilot tube connector that comes with the new gas valve is not required. It can be removed and discarded. Reconnect the pilot tube and manifold tube connections. Start both off hand tight first to eliminate stripping the threads. Making the tubes as straight as possible entering the control valve will help in getting the threads started. Plug the spark igniter and thermal pile wiring back in. Turn the gas supply back on to the water heater. If you smell gas at this point, turn off the gas supply and check the union and half inch gas control connection. 
You are now at the point where you can relight the water heater. Spark the igniter a few times to make sure the spark is present through the sight glass. Turn the gas control knob to pilot, depress the gas control knob and immediately spark the igniter. Once the pilot is lit, continue to hold down the gas control knob for roughly one minute and the status light starts to blink. This can take a few attempts initially as the gas line has to purge the air from being disconnected. Now with the pilot lit, you can adjust the temperature as desired. With the main burner firing, check for any gas leaks at the pilot and manifold tube connections. Your inspector for any bubbles growing or multiplying. If any leaks are present, shut off the gas supply and recheck the connections. You successfully replaced your gas control. If this video helped you out, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe.